Hey and welcome to Not Only Hollywood. Today I'm going to do an audio commentary of Concrete from 2004. This is a Japanese crime movie. I have reviewed the movie on my channel but I'm going to make a new review after watching the movie for the second time. So I'm going to press play now. So Concrete is the third movie about uh, the Yonku Furuta murder case. The first movie was Concrete in Case High School Murder Case from uh, 1995 and uh, the second movie was uh, Juvenile Crime from 1997. And then Concrete came out in 2004 and Concrete from 2004 is the best one. But that uh, doesn't say much. So here we have uh, three teenagers and a barrel. And in the barrel is uh, the girl. She isn't called uh, Junko Furuta in uh, this movie, but everyone knows that uh, this is a movie about her. I wonder why it turned out this way. I'm not going to go into details about uh, the case, what happened after all that. You can read it on Wikipedia. So uh, here we have a class of uh, martial artists. Concrete is the movie that uh, sort of have uh, the best actors. If you compare it uh, with uh, the 1995 movie and the uh, 1997 movie, it has uh, two pretty famous uh, actors in my opinion, and uh, those are Susuke Takaoka. He was uh, in Battle Royale and uh, tons of other movies, and we have also. Katsuya Kobayashi, he was in Linda Linda Linda, Little DJ, The Devil's Path, The Last Winter We Parted. So now they are fighting, so it looks like it's a judo team. The movie is uh, directed by Hiromu Nakamura and uh, Concrete was his uh, first movie. After Concrete, he directed two other movies, and uh, the last one he directed was in 2007. I haven't watched any of his other movies, and I'm not going to. I don't think many have. And now uh, they torment the protagonist. So this uh, judo team is uh, sadistic and uh, they are almost uh, throwing him out of the window. That would have been the best. And uh, now uh, the mother is upset. She's going to talk to the teachers. But uh, he won't uh, allow that. You know, he has honor. And 
and uh, she teaches piano to children. And he's upset that he uh, he tells her that she doesn't have time for him. And now he uh, starts beating up his mother. You know, he's a winner and uh, he snorts uh, something. I guess it's glue. I'm not sure, but uh, I think so. I'm not uh, the guy you ask for if you want to know about the drugs. Tatsu. So uh, I think that's the second one in the gang. He's working and uh, he has a bad attitude. And uh, how an, uh, a man tells him about how it's important to work hard. Oh, he, uh, he is uh, the kid's uh, boss. I remember I watched this movie, I think it was in 2015. And then I watched the other two movies about uh, the murder. There's one movie of these three you shouldn't watch and that's the 1997 Juvenile Crime that's Don't uh, waste your time on that movie. It's despicable. I'm not sure. Is that his girlfriend? They are at a cafe and uh, she's talking to her mother about getting married. I'm not a bad mother. Oh no, it uh, was his uh, mother, so he has, uh, yes, he has the younger brother, I remember now. And that's the guy from Battle Royale, I think. Now uh, he's back at work. So uh, their boss is hiring uh, ex-convicts. Yeah, he uh, wants to get married to that girl that uh, his uh, mother talked to. And now uh, he's at the police station. I'm not sure what happened right here. Maybe it's a flashback. Oh, he burps. What an attitude. 
Juvenile Correction. Okay, so this is a flashback to when he was at the Juvenile Correction Center. This movie has one thing going for it. It has English subtitles. The other two movies I mentioned doesn't have English uh, subtitles, so... It's best to know about uh, the Junker Furuta case before you watch those two movies. Well, except for the th uh, Juvenile Crime from 1997, that's that's, mo that's a movie you shouldn't watch. It focuses too much on sex and uh, exploiting uh, Junker Furuta's name. The director should be ashamed and uh, there we have the girlfriend again. When did you get out? And uh, they are talking again, the girlfriend and uh, the battle royale guy. So uh, they are arguing and uh, his girl well, his girlfriend is uh, pretty hot. But uh, she's angry and she leaves. And there we have Tatsu. And uh, he's talking uh, with his father. And uh, he tells uh, his father to sort of go to hell. So uh, they don't have a good relationship. Rina. So that's uh, his sister. And there we have the first guy again and he beats up his mother. Tatsu, oh no, that's him again. His mother is bleeding. And he kicks his mother. I'm so bad with names. Right now I don't remember if... Tatsu is the one uh, we have followed all the time, or if there is a second character. <laughs> I'm not sure who, they are, who that guy is, but there's a guy talking uh, with him. And uh, his mother is beat up. Oh, it's uh, his boss. Okay, so there's just one character so far. I thought it was two. Mr. Katagiri. So, uh, the boss is going to give the mother half of... Uh, the paycheck.
and uh, there he is with uh, his girlfriend. She has uh, bought him a present. Yeah, that's the guy you should marry and spend uh, the rest of your life with. And uh, there is the loser again, working. You already hate this character. And uh, there are three suspicious guys who want to talk to his boss. Yeah, it's uh, some uh, gangster guys. I'm not sure if they are Yakuza. Tatsu. So one of the gangsters uh, is talking uh, to uh, the protagonist. Oh, he knows him. Maybe it's one of the judo club uh, members. Yeah, it's uh, sort of a Yakuza. So he's bragging, I'm a loser and I'm going up in the world. You should join the syndicate, be a Yakuza. Walk with your head high. What a bunch of losers. Oh, I have a watch. All right. Loser. Oh, they are so tough. So he wants to bring his uh, friend uh, with him. He asks the boss if he can bring him uh, tonight and uh, the boss is all right. But uh, the protagonist's boss uh, doesn't like it, but you know, he can't do anything. Oh, they are so tough. Oh, I hate the uh, tough guys. They are so pathetic. Brainless losers. And uh, they are drinking and having a good time. Oh, they are telling about how much money he can earn. Oh, the quality is so bad. And this is really good quality compared uh, with uh, the 1995 and uh, 1997 movie. And uh, she's calling for some girls, but are they hot? Well, I'm not sure if they are hot because I can't see their faces. It's so blurry. Wow, you're handsome. What's your name? And uh, there we have the protagonist again. I know now that we have just followed one character in the movie, not two. 
I thought it was uh, sort of two leading uh, roles in the movie, but I was mistaken. I'm so bad with names and faces sometimes. And there he's walking with his uh, girlfriend. And they are getting married. Not now, but in the future, she tells him. It's uh, strange to say, but so far this movie has uh, at least more class than than uh, the first two movies but the first movie isn't good but it's uh, more in the same street as this one but as uh, as i said the 1997 movie just pretend that it uh, doesn't exist And now the protagonist is uh, watching The Office. Do you know the uh, Yakuza office? I think it is Yakuza. I'm not sure if he was sort of a member of Yakuza or not. I don't think he was. He was just a lowlife gangster, but I'm not sure. And he's selling some... Uh, stuff on the street and uh, <laughs> his girlfriend uh, walks up to him he looks so stupid a gangster is um, a street seller he's, he's selling some cheap uh, things i'm not sure what it is but uh, his uh, hot girlfriend uh, isn't happy. Oh, he, he tries to talk like a gangster. That's overacting. And now uh, I'm going to quit sniffing glue, I promise. And they are fighting again. She's so mad. Yakuza. I want to quit, but they kill me. I'm not sure if this is uh, correct. In reality, I think one of them had uh, a sort of connection to the Yakuza, but not more than that, that he knew some of them. Oh no, she slaps him. Hit me if it makes you feel better. And she slaps him again, but uh, she's hot so she can do it. And now she's sad and hugging him. I don't remember which character he played in Battle Royale, but was he the... Oh, I don't remember. I think he was one, either the bad guy or the sort of good guy that almost uh, survived. And now they're talking about getting money so they can get married. She uh, starts to talk about uh, being a prostitute or something. But he says that, don't worry, I'll take care of it. I'm a man, I'm a loser, 
and she's too hot to spend her life with him. He's trying to get out of uh, the Yakuza. Arr. Can't do that. Out of the door. Our finger. What's with the big talk? Calm down. We'll talk after we had a drink. It's hard to be a Yakuza member having to sell uh, cheap, uh, cheap uh, stuff on the street. Oh, his boss has an earring. Oh, so the boss uh, just uh, threatened him and uh, telling him that if he tried to get out, he's going to kill him and they will never find his body. You know, the boss is talking out. Uh, this calls for a toast. Arr, arr, I'm a Yakuza. Arr, arr. Off, off with your finger. Off with your finger. Oh. And um, he's uh, sniffing glue again. So it has been 27 minutes so far. So the movie focuses on the protagonist at least. So we know who he is. And he's a real loser. Okay, so the boss tells him that he's going to command some uh, younger kids to gather a sort of gang yeah the Eugene gang he's the, so he says that he's the chairman <laughs> So he has uh, two members, but uh, he wants more. So the good thing uh, so far with the movie is that uh, the focus is on the protagonist and not just about the Junko Furuta and what they did to her. It's crazy to say, but uh, this movie at least has class after watching the 1997 uh, movie Juvenile Crime. I remember I gave this movie for the first time I watched it. It isn't a good movie and uh, they should never have uh, made it. And he hangs uh, with uh, his gangster friends or Yakuza friends or what they are. And uh, now he's climbing uh, a ladder with his friends. Yeah, there's uh, his uh, little brother. So they are in his room, the two friends or members that they have. And uh, he... Thank you for watching my sister. Are they half brothers? Oh, 
Okay, so he wants he uh, his brother or half brother. The protagonist wants uh, his brother or half brother to join uh, the gang, but uh, he won't. And then uh, the protagonist hits his uh, little brother or half brother. And there we have one of the members and he's uh, snatching a purse. Riding away on his uh, scooter. So they are perch, uh, perch uh, snatchers. They are so tough on their scooters. What a bunch of losers. Low life, low life uh, losers. And now they are at the office, the Yakuza office. It looks like they are 14, 15 years old. The actor at the right is pretty bad. And uh, they are missing some money, it seems. They don't have enough. And they're talking about putting a squeeze on high school girls. And the guy on the left just looked straight into the camera. And there is the gang. They are following uh, high school girls. And they are harassing them. Look at those losers. So now I start to get a little angry at the losers. Okay, he doesn't have the money that uh, he was supposed to have, so he asks the boss if he can uh, cut the quota. Off with his finger. There's a guy there, they're kicking him and beating him. Oh, I guess he owns money. Never own money to the Rakusha guys. Oh, that was a weak kick. Bring the knife. Oh, I think he's going to stab uh, the guy uh, they beat up for. And uh, the protagonist is a little worried. He almost cried. Ooh. Who's that? Is that his mother? No.
that's a club hostess or something. She's uh, sucking on that uh, strawberry. Wearing a ton of makeup to hide her old age. And there's the gang again. They are driving, just cruising around. I think they are about to attack a woman here. A grown up woman. Hey lady, I need a ride. So now it begins. They are kidnapping a woman, dragging her into the car. And driving away. Wait, there are three women uh, and talking to his father. I guess they must be the mothers to the girls uh, the gang harassed. And uh, yeah, they are having their way with uh, a teenage girl, it seems. That's not the woman uh, they kidnapped. What a bunch of losers. Oh, look at him. Yeah. So four of them are out of the car and uh, there's someone in the car with her because the car goes up and down, up and down. So we know what's going on. But was that the protagonist? Yeah, it's the protagonist uh, who's uh, doing it. So it took about 37 minutes before this uh, started. So he is at the police station and he tells the cop that uh, he met the girl woman and uh, she was fine uh, having sex with him. Yeah, right. And he got away again. I'm sorry about the... Uh, I have uh, done something wrong with the camera. And there is another girl in the car with the gang. So they are just cruising around uh, picking up girls and uh, doing their illegal uh, things and they are rawr, rawr, we are oh, off with your finger off with your finger and now they are scooting around <laughs> yeah i guess uh, that will be uh, the so-called the junko furuta they are uh, Picking out a target and yes, there she comes on her bicycle. Uh, 
knock her off. What will he do? Yeah. So now it begins. So from this point, I wish this was uh, another type of uh, movie. They should have uh, made it uh, with uh, their heart and uh, told all the things that uh, went wrong in this case, especially uh, the neighbors and all of the people who knew about uh, where Junko Furuta was. All of the people who knew about it should be put in jail. So now he helps uh, her and uh, she has uh, hurt her knee and she's bleeding. And now he kicks her bicycle away from her. I'm a Yakuza. Oh, he's so tough. He has a punchable face you want to punch in hard. I hate tough guys like that. Just punch them hard. And they will go home crying to their mommy. And now they are at a hotel or a love hotel and uh, he's... Uh, Having sex with her. And she bit uh, his uh, thumb and he uh, hits her in the stomach. You play nice or I'll kill you right there. The actress who plays Junko Furuta is really bad. I'm starting to remember why I hated the movie and I think don't think she got a big career as an uh, actress. She's really bad. So now the movie begins to fall apart. Now it focuses on uh, the body of uh, the woman. And it's starting to get uh, childish and despicable. So the first 30 minutes is the best. And now he calls his friends and tells them that they also can have a piece of her because she's a hottie. And the actress who plays her is so bad. She ruins so much. Not that it's her fault that the movie stinks, but uh, she can't convey uh, real emotions. She's so irritating the way she acts. And uh, she's following uh, the protagonist around uh, like a trained dog. And here comes the, the rest of the gang. I have so many questions about uh, this case, why uh, Junko Furuta didn't try harder to get away. After what they did to her in the start, 
she shouldn't uh, have thought about uh, her parents' uh, safety. I think they uh, threatened uh, to kill her parents or something, but uh, I wish we could uh, have gotten a deeper documentary about this case and understand what really went on with uh, Junko Peruta and why she was so uh, passive. So now they have smuggled uh, Junko Furuta up the ladder and into the protagonist's room. She's so bad, I feel bad for you. That actress is so bad. And she looks so old. And now... Uh, he's... Uh, having a good time with her. And now uh, the protagonist is uh, sniffing glue and uh, Junko Peruta is uh, in his bed. And the other guys have all been sniffing glue, it seems. And now they have a beer bottle and they're going to do something with a beer bottle. So this is the things you can read uh, on Wikipedia if you want to know what's going on here. I'm not going to spend so much time on it. But they have uh, different sort of uh, things they want to test out. And I guess you know what they are doing. And there are about eight people in the room, I think. There are a bunch of characters. Uh, yeah, that's some of the Yakuza. No, I'm not sure who they are. He had a red jacket, so I thought it was the guy who was beaten up. But So you have to ask yourself, what's wrong with these people who are doing this? And uh, what's wrong with the actress? She uh, stinks. It seems like she's trying to cry, but uh, it's disgustingly bad. And they are not done with her. I, I know that the people uh, say that this is a hard movie to watch, but no. It's a really bad movie and... Uh, the movie is just out to earn some uh, easy money to show uh, the horrible things uh, the gang did to uh, Junko Furuta. And uh, the actress is uh, apathetic. She's just lying like this. There's no emotions in her face, in her eyes. She's dead. So that's the reason uh, this is not an uncomfortable movie. I'm not sure why many say that it's an uncomfortable movie. It's hard to watch. Just watch the horrible movie. That's almost the same as the Junko Furuta case. The Girl Next Door. That's uh, a movie that's based on uh, a true story. And that movie really punched me in the gut. 
that's a hard movie to watch. This with the woman who's playing Junko Furuta. She's terrible and she has no emotions. And now they're talking about letting her go, but they are certain she will go to the cops. And they are going to frighten her more. So they are having a good time there, smiling, drinking, smoking. They are so tough. And there is Junko Furuta, but she's not called Junko Furuta in the movie. And she's looking at one of the perpetrators. And he is uh, complaining. And now they are sniffing glue again. Wow, this uh, movie took a real downturn <laughs> after 30 minutes. It's so boring, it's so uninteresting, it's so childish. I can understand those who say that it can be uncomfortable to watch because of how much you hate the perpetrators. It's hard to watch a movie that lasts 90 minutes and follow scum. But this isn't a good movie. They should never have made uh, these movies. And now uh, one of them is the protagonist. I'm not sure, but he starts kicking Junko Furuta. He just snaps out of, uh, out of nowhere. And the actress is so horrible. I mean, the actress... Uh, and now Yuko Furuta is uh, talking to her mother in a flashback. But even uh, the, the actress in uh, the 1997 movie is better than this actress. That's... A scandal. Oh my god, they are trying to make uh, Junko Furuta character human. You have a boyfriend. So now the movie in a lazy way tries to explain to us who Junko Furuta is. And uh, the actress is just lying there after being kicked uh, 40 times in the stomach and just gets up. I think I was too kind when I gave this uh, terrible movie a 4 out of 10. Because this movie sucks. And now she's eating a flower. And uh, Junko Furuta is uh, hallucinating.
that actress should be ashamed. So should the director. And now they have uh, made uh, Junko Fruta write a letter to uh, her parents. No, she's uh, calling her parents. He, uh, the protagonist, has written what uh, she has to say to her parents. Mushy mushy. And the mother just uh, looked straight into the camera again. Hello mom, it's me. Where are you? Misaki? She's uh, called Misaki. I'm at a friend's place. I'll be home in two or three days. Misaki! Misaki! And uh, he hangs up the phone. Let me go home. It won't be long. She's trying to cry. The awful actress. And he breaks uh, her phone. And she looks a little old. Oh no. It was a teardrop falling from her eyes. This acting is so bad. And one of the guys who are guarding her is uh, playing a video game. That's uh, the half-brother or something. And now uh, Junko Fruta looks like uh, she could uh, be his mother. You want to play. That's a PlayStation 2 controller. Good old PlayStation. PlayStation 2 was a really great machine. Had so many great games. Good times. Good times. Let me go. I'm begging you. So after being beaten and tortured, uh, I have to say that uh, Junko Fruta is in great shape. She has no problems with anything. There's no sign uh, of uh, Junko Fruta being uh, broken here. And now Junko Fruta is calling emergency service. And she tries to run out the door. And she's running away from the house. This is a strange uh, scene. And if this uh, happened in reality, Junko Fruta was born with bad luck. There's a car behind her, driving slowly. And now she's drinking water. And there's a white car behind her, and uh, it's one of the perpetrators. And he's calling the emergency service and saying that it was his sister and it was a prank. And there is... Uh, and there is uh, his mother and uh, she discovered that uh, you can't be bringing girls into the house. Oh, so he isn't... Uh, so the protagonist uh, has taken Junko Fruta to his uh, friend's uh, place. He hasn't taken her to his own house. 
maybe they switched uh, places so that she wouldn't stay in the same place for 40 days. And it looks like she's been beaten up. And she's uh, eating. Don't you have to go home? She's eating with the parents to one of the perpetrators. Yeah, this is crazy. I think this happened in reality. She's uh, eating uh, dinner with the parents to one of the perpetrators. This is just crazy. She ran away from home. But her mother must be worried she can't just not go home and the son is getting angry i can't eat this shit so here we have another problem uh, the, the parents i think this happened in reality and the parents should go to jail and stay there forever with uh, the son and the rest of the gang and the neighbors who uh, knew about uh, where junke Furuta was look at that father he's uh, afraid of his son and that's a father figure. If you have brought a scum like this to the world, take responsibility for it. Even if you have to die. What a coward. Afraid of a goofball like this. I would have kicked his ass so hard. Look at that idiot. What a loser. But seriously, the parents should go to jail forever. And now uh, she is taking a bath. And the guy says to her, go home. I said you could go. I said no such things and the protagonist is angry and slaps him. So um, the protagonist is uh, threatening uh, Junke Fruta and uh, she's out in the cold in uh, her underwear. It doesn't look that cold. And the mother is sneaking into the bedroom and she's trying to wake up Junko Furuta. So the mother knows that they have kidnapped Junko Furuta. Did this happen in reality? Maybe uh, Junke Fruta is uh, daydreaming. Yeah, and there is uh, Junke Fruta running down the street and there's a lot of traffic and people in the street. It was. <laughs> There is the son again, and he uh, caught her. I'm not sure if this happened in reality, but if she got caught two or three times, you can't have a worse luck than uh, Junko Furuta. It's like Satan was after her. It was destined. That's uh, crazy. Now it's time for the strip show. And now they are going to uh, torment her again. Uh, 
And they are starting to take off her clothes. And they are dancing uh, with her. I just, uh, I don't understand how she could get caught two or three times. It's so crazy and unlucky. And now the protagonist uh, punches uh, one of his uh, minions. And now they are going to punish her. The bad actress. And uh, they are... Uh... Oh yeah. They poured some lighter fluid on her leg and uh, burned her really bad. That's uh, pretty sick. But the actress uh, is so awful. And there is the protagonist's uh, girlfriend, the Hattie. She's uh, talking uh, to the mother. And we are back in the room where Junko Furuta lies on the floor. And uh, he starts uh, beating her. He tells her that uh, she stinks. And uh, the protagonist comes into the room and starts beating her. Uh, tough guys. And her leg uh, looks like uh, hell, to be honest. So I guess that uh, was the injury they spent the most money on and her beaten up swollen face. And now Junko Fruta looks uh, terrible. And she asks if uh, she can go to the bathroom. No, his parents are home. Go later. Wait, have they moved her again? I'm not sure where she is. 
I'm not sure how many houses uh, they um, moved her to. Prisoner, sing prisoner. Now they are tormenting her again. And they start beating her up again. The movie is more brutal now because we can see uh, the injuries in uh, Junko Fruta's uh, face and the leg, so uh, it's more brutal and a little more realistic since uh, the actress uh, don't have to act. She just have to take the punches and uh, lay flat on the floor. Everyone can do that. So, uh, so as long as uh, the actress uh, is unconscious, uh, it works better. She's out cold. They have hit her many times in the face. When you know that this happened in reality, it's so sick. Especially when you know about uh, the penalty they, uh, the perpetrators got after killing uh, Junko Furuta. It uh, makes me sick. Water, water, she's begging for water. And now uh, the picture is uh, really blurry again. Happy New Year. I want to say so many bad things, but I'm not taking the chance because it's YouTube. Oh boy, I have so much anger in me. When I look at these losers who were born. And they hit her again and again and she falls on her back and I think she hit her head. And there comes a small dumbbell and it drops it on her stomach but that uh, had the weight of 2 kilograms. Hey are you alright? Cheer up. And now uh, she's dying. And there's a sad uh, score playing. Oh, I, I want to say so many things about this. About the perpetrators. About the penalty they got.
it's hard to fathom how we can do this to another person, especially when they were so many. It's like, how many brain cells do they have? And they are walking down the street and uh, I guess uh, there is a Junkerfruta lying on the floor. Do your best. And uh, there Junko Furuta dies. I can't understand how so many could do this to one girl. It doesn't matter if it was a girl or a boy. Uh, if It's so crazy to think that they could do this to a human being and they were so young how evil and sick in the head you must be to do this hey are you all right look at those losers it's like they have no brain cells uh oh I think we just killed her. Now they are worried. Sick, sick. Don't die, stay strong, do not die. Oh my god, what have we done? It's so crazy to see that they are in shock that they have killed a person after torturing her 40 days. I'm so sick and tired of uh, these uh, losers. I quit the Ryung gang. Oh, so tough with the cigarette in his mouth. And uh, the protagonist uh, asks uh, his former boss that he needs a oil drum and cement. And one of uh, one of the workers told the protagonist, "I bet you're going to hide a body in there." And he was, uh, "I'm just joking. Just quit the yakuza." The perpetrators. They are not human, they are animals. That's the right word. They are animals. And how society could protect them? 
there's something wrong about the law. And now they are uh, mixing uh, the cement and uh, is that the body they are picking up? The movie got better when the actress was just laying on the floor or got beaten. It's crazy to say, but she was so bad in uh, conveying uh, emotions and uh, pain. So the movie hits me a little more in the stomach heart right now because of the hatred I feel towards the perpetrators and the injuries we saw inflicted on Junke Fruta's uh, body. And now they are carrying uh, the oil drum But why did they place the oil drum in a field or something? Why didn't they try to bury or hide the oil drum with uh, the body? Why did they put the oil drum in a field? I don't understand it. And there goes a person, there's a car and... A... Oh, they are so tough gangsters. Losers. I don't understand uh, what they were thinking if they were going to hide the bud there. They are so stupid. <laughs> and there they have uh, been caught by the police. Yeah. They are interrogating uh, the protagonist. Sentencing is tomorrow. This is a really bad storytelling. What a lazy movie. This is... That's the problem with uh, this movie. It's not interested in telling a mature story. They should uh, just uh, have made a documentary of this case. These movies, they spit on uh, the real uh, Junko Furuta. 
They should have gotten a competent director to tell us who Junko Furuta was when she grew up as a person to honor her, not uh, with these uh, exploitative uh, movies. We didn't intend to kill her. So uh, he confesses that he killed uh, one girl. I wonder if they know how precious life is. And there is the protagonist holding a bird. I guess that's uh, to symbolize something. That he's holding life in his hands. Poor bird. They should never have gotten out of uh, jail. And now the movie tries to be emotional and it fails so miserably. And the movie ended. Yeah. I gave the movie a 4 when I first uh, watched it. Now I give it a 2. It's the best movie of uh, the three. The first one from 1995, Concrete in Case, High School Murder Case, is almost even with uh, Concrete from 2004, but uh, there's no English subtitles. The first uh, 30 minutes are okay when we follow the protagonist and uh, see what kind of person he is. But uh, when uh, the so-called Junko Furuta shows up, uh, the movie uh, falls and uh, falls flat on uh, its face because the actress who plays Junko Furuta is so bad. She can't convey uh, emotions at all. If she's in pain, she's apathetic. If she's beaten, she's apathetic. The best acting she does is when she's knocked out and she's unconscious. Then you know it's pretty bad. I felt angry when watching the movie because of how the perpetrators are behaving. And I can't get into their minds and understand them. They are just evil. They are crazy in the head they have no soul and what the movie is bad at is telling the story about the uh, the investigation about the neighborhood how many people knew about the location of Junko Furuta that's the interesting uh, part that so many got away and how uh, the law works in uh, Japan they should be punished when they didn't uh, inform the authorities, the, pol the police. They should make a movie about Junko Furuta, who she was as a person, her family when she grew up, focus on the positive things. And then when uh, she was kidnapped, they should focus on the investigation, how the police worked, how the neighborhood knew about it but didn't inform the police that would make a great movie and we don't have to see the torture and all the crazy things they did 
to her. You don't need to see it at all. They could have just told us what they uh, did to her in court and maybe shown some pictures of her uh, body. That's all. I'm not a sensitive person. If you follow my channel, you should know that. But there's something you don't do as a human being. And the three movies they have made about Junkovrida should never have been made. If they're going to make a new movie about this case, but I doubt it, they should hire a really competent drama director and focus on the things I just mentioned. That would make a great movie. That would make an emotional movie. Concrete, this movie did get emotions from me because I was so disgusted by the perpetrators and how few brain cells they have. And I was also angry at the movie because of how lazy it was. It's not interested in telling a complete story. It's just interested in skimming over important details just to show torturing and uh, abusing uh, Junko Faruta. And uh, there's no depth here. There's no depth at all. All the characters, they feel empty. So what's the point making this movie? money just to earn some money and if i have read and understood it correctly i think japan has tried to forget about this case because it's so horrible and i guess it brings so much shame to the japanese society so they just put a lid on junko furuta's name and let's not talk about her that's sick we live in a sick, sick world. What's wrong with people? Again, I'm sorry about my English. Uh, I'm trying to find some words. I have it in Norwegian, but I can't remember the words in English. So I'm sort of handicapped when I'm uh, doing uh, these audio commentaries. But uh, don't watch any of these uh, three movies they have made about Junko Furuta. I give this movie a 2 out of 10. I gave it 4 the first time, but now it's a 2 out of 10. The first one, I think I gave it 1 out of 10. And the third one is really a 1 out of 10. It should be a 0 out of 10. So I would have given the first one maybe a 2 out of 10 to match this one. Because the third, uh, not the third bomb of the 1997 juvenile crime is so bad and it spits on Junko Furuta that the director should be uh, kicked out of Japan and uh, sent to an island that, uh, that no one lives at. He has no shame, that director. Oh my god. So uh, don't watch this movie. It doesn't have any depth. Is all over the place. The director doesn't know what uh, he's doing. And uh, there's a reason uh, that he just made uh, three movies that no one cares about. Except for Concrete because of uh, curiosity. People are curious. So am I. So this was the second time I watched uh, this uh, terrible movie. And never again. This is a bad, bad movie. Oh, this was a long one. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Sleep well and dream about me and don't watch this movie.